JC. Um, Bonnie, she's been bridesmaid all year and she got to, she made JC this time and was she in any different form than she has been through the year or did everything just come together? No, I don't think so. I mean, she's just a heifer that's just, she's so modern, she's so long and she's, um, she's just so balanced and we've just always ad admired this heifer and I guess it's just nice for her to, to come out and do that finally. Um, you know, she got second there last year. So she hasn't, yeah, she's, she's been up there, but she just, yeah, she just got it done this year for us. And, you know, she she looked beautiful leading into it. We've always known she's been way out of age, but, I mean, you know, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it, if they're good, so. And she's a big heifer, like, for yeah, her age, yeah, anyway. she, yeah, she seemed to be, you know, size-wise, she was fine. And, and she's given away five months of age on a lot of them. So, I mean, you know, it's beautiful, really. And she's still got all that quality we just, we love in the heifers. Like, we love that beautiful dairy, silky, soft look and... You know, and being a gold chip, once she calves, she she could be quite a good a good heifer. All right, so you're intermediate. She's followed on from the winter fair and backed yep. up, recalved, very yep. fresh. Yep. How fresh? She's only two and a half weeks fresh. I mean, she's a cow that you know when we actually saw her at auction, you know, I just wanted to, I just needed her, I just loved her. Like I love that. You know, she was one of the biggest rear udders I've ever seen on a young cow, and I mean. Um, she got fourth last year at Dairy Week. She, it was her first show out. She was a bit green, but I mean, she certainly went on and um, she was intermediate champion at the Winter Fair. And, and and I guess she's, well, she's doing everything we, we expected of her. And I mean, I would have to think she could look pretty nice in another three or four, four months time, I think. So, but she just did everything right. Two and a half weeks fresh, the big ask uh, for, for such a dairy cow. But I mean, she's got that width through her chest and I guess that's why she can get it done. She hold, hold, holds everything together beautifully, really. And what about your show in general? Like, you know, this year there's been a little bit of comment that we did well on the milkers, which we sort of haven't really had such yeah. a strong milking string. I mean, we've sold, you know, we've sold four or five or six hundred head of cattle in the last six or seven years. So, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's a, to keep doing that, it's it's not easy. And, I mean, um, you know, we've pulled the pin on the sale this year because we just wanted to build a, a bit of a stronger base. Um, we've been out and bought a few new cows as well just lately but I mean um, you know everything fell together quite nicely and and um, we took a team that we were extremely proud of from top to bottom and and it was nice to be rewarded and you and the team around you yeah like the people like they I guess the people around us they you know they're for a reason they they they're more than just you know they friends they're more than they're actually family to us all those people around us and and they just put in a huge effort and I mean Di and I can't do it by ourselves. Um, we do a lot here by ourselves, and you know, obviously, we've got to have the animals in half half the right form. But these guys, once they get here, they just they just get it done for us. I mean, it's it's an amazing thing to have you know such such close, well, good friends, I suppose. And as you look back on the show, what's your feeling overall for us? Uh, look, I think it was it was just an uh, extremely good campaign, I suppose. Um, we, we had a, you know, we had a strong junior show, we had a strong intermediate show, we had a strong senior show. We, we had, you know, we didn't have anything older than a five-year-old, so I mean, to, to place, you know, I, I'd have to go back and have a look, but I mean, we've placed uh, in the top three with, you know, I'd say half of our team pretty comfortably, so I mean, it was, it was very re rewarding. Um, we wasn't, we weren't sure what to think um, leading into it, but we've come out of it coming out of it just with what we needed so it was it was perfect for us and blue chip so and Dobbo like you know he's been a little partner for a long time yep you had a class winner and a Joe junior champion for him that was pretty nice for yeah him. it was great for Dobbo I mean he's he, he just supports us no matter what we do um, he leaves it up to us um, but you know Dobbo's he's never missed a show ever or a sale like he's always here like and he just he just rings up and says you tell me when you want me there and he'll be there and that's what he done this year and and you know I, he's just a huge support to to to, to die and to me and and we just couldn't do it without Dobbo so I mean he's just he's just a super 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 person and Leanne certainly supports us in in her own way too but I mean without Ross we, we couldn't have had any of this success